How you doing? It's been a while. <laughs> LOL, just kidding. But hey everyone, it's your girl Jassy, aka J Renee, back at it again with another video. And yes, it's been a while. Uh, my hair is blue. So um I just want to say thank you guys for subscribing. I know last video was three months ago and we were at 250 subscribers and now we're at over 400 so thank you for subscribing and i know most of y'all came from that uh jeans flared bell bottom video and if you came from that comment down below and say hi because hi um other than that so much has changed but we are back at it I don't know how often I will be uh, posting, but I'm gonna do my best. And so let's just get right into the video. So this video, we are thrift flipping a men's button down t-shirt, as you saw in the thumbnail, into like a two piece or two piece with extensions, with arms and what whatever, you've seen it. So yeah, if you wonder where I got this, um, a sweatshirt from uh i made it if you're looking for more go check out my depop other than that let's just get into the video here we are with the top on it was a men's extra large or something like that um this is what it looks like from the back it has blue black and white stripes it's kind of cool i think um so let's just wave into the video <laughs> now we are gonna use this bustier um sample that we already had it's not a sample it came from like this dress but um before we do that just measure out how long you want the skirt on your body and then cut that out in the straight line I, you can use your scissors or i got this new rotary cutter yeah that's what it is then we are going to cut off the sleeves because the sleeves are going to be a separate part um, as you saw in the thumbnail, of course, so just cut out both sleeves like it's nobody's business all the way through I was struggling, but it's okay and just set those aside for later So now we are moving on to this top What we're gonna do is make a pattern like I told y'all before if I didn't tell y'all we're making a pattern So just get out a blank piece of paper You can use like regular tracing paper with the uh, dots and stuff, but we're gonna trace out the top of this bustier um you want to use one that has like a little cup or whatever or something that has a little more structure and just trace it out as best as you can um to refine them you can use like your curved rulers if you have them if not we're not professionals here but if you have them you know what to do with them um, i'm just gonna define them here a little bit more so you can see um, as best as I can using my straight edge to make those lines straight and at the bottom was a little curved I'm mad y'all can see my face in this video and I'll be crusty making these videos so don't mind I messed up there but don't look at that and so for the back my square ended up being like a six by six square um, without the stretch so I just made that um, more defined so you can see it and it ended up being six by six inches so we're also going to need some seam allowance so i used a half an inch seam allowance on all sides it's easy to put seam allowance on that square it was just you know straight edges and so for the front part i wanted to define the line a little more so you could see it exactly what i was doing we're gonna need to find the apex so i'm using my ruler to find that center of the cup that was already there and going down the center and then um across so i'm gonna use a pencil to make sure i can see that line and make and see where they intersect and for all of those who don't know the apex is like the point where your nipple is so that's what we're trying to find to make sure that these darts are correct now i have like a little circle that's my apex and so for the apex we're gonna make a little dart my dart was an inch wide at the waist part um you can't really see what i'm doing right now because i just don't know what i'm doing but i'm making like a curved dart so it goes like in and then out. I'll, I'll put a picture up there so you can see exactly what i'm doing and so i'm using my curve ruler just to make sure that curve goes in and out the right way this is only to help um the fit of it and later on i realized that i should have made a top of the bus dart but i didn't do that so we're just gonna cut it all out like so both the front and the back and that's how the little dart looked and the back was really easy to cut out so that's great 
and now all we have to do is label this with the front and you can cut on fold if you want to cut on fold then you're going to fold it over and then just cut on that line but if you're going to cut two then um use that extra seam allowance and the bustier back don't write cut on fold i'm gonna scratch it out later i don't know why i said that and remember this is a half an inch seam allowance so the next thing we're gonna do is cut out all the seams on this shirt because we need to figure out how this top is going to piece together. So cutting out all the seams, we don't seam rip, I hate seam ripping. So this back part was just, was perfect enough for um, the back part of the top and I just went to go iron it and now it is all ready to cut. Remember, don't cut on fold, just cut to and pin that down to the fabric and use your rotary cutter or your scissors to cut out right along that paper be sure not to cut yourself because i have multiple times but it's okay who, who needs fingers <laughs> and now we're gonna figure out how we want this bustier front just cut out all the seams that we had to make sure we know what we're doing because when it's all together we nobody knows so just cut it all out cut it all out and we'll see how to piece it together and i should probably iron these and i didn't do that so we can see here that it's not enough for just the one to fit this whole top so we're gonna need to do some patchwork and it's okay because i've been into patchwork lately so we're gonna make the all the sides straight so we can sew them down perfectly and we're just gonna take this piece from that back panel that we had and stick it on to the bigger piece as you can see here those two are going to go together and for the opposite side we're going to do the same thing but we're probably going to need a third piece so that one doesn't fit quite perfectly because it just don't fit so we're going to need to take a third piece from something else that we were cutting out i don't know where that came from but i had it so those three pieces are going to be pieced together to make this top and it's okay i mean all the lines is as long as all the lines are straight, it doesn't really matter if you have to piece them together. At least for me, it doesn't matter. But I don't know which fabric you're using, so yeah. So I just took it to my serger machine that I got. <laughs> I love this thing. And pieced all those together and ironed them down. Make sure your iron is on a safe setting for your fabric. This was kind of thin. And so I'm just going to lay out the pieces and cut them out with my rotary cutter. You know, I used to use scissors all the time and I got a rotary cutter, cutter and it's the best thing that ever happened to me. Okay. I'm married to this rotary cutter. Okay. And we're going to cut out that dart as well. And then do that on the opposite side. And we're turning it over because we want the sides to look the same, but on opposite sides. We don't want the same piece on two different sides if you know what i mean if you if you know what i mean i don't know if you know what i mean because i don't really know what i mean but just do better by watching than listening to my voice let's just say that so now that those are all cut out we are ready to go now we have to sew these together and we're going to use some pins we're going to put the first two pieces together and pin them up and then put the back panels next to them make sure all the lines on the stripes or whatever fabric you have are the right way and we're also going to pin together the darts i don't really know the seam allowance type thing for darts i should probably ask my professor that but i just pin them together and sewed how i thought it should be sewn like i didn't use a specific seam allowance it would work for me oh it's looking like a bustier already let's go sew that down so my camera might be falling in a couple of these videos because my table is not solid and it keeps moving jiggling everything around while i sew so anyway remember to use your half inch seam allowance and using the presser foot as a guide that's like where my half inch is for sewing the dart you want to start at the waist seam and you can backstitch there but at the top you don't want to backstitch you want to actually leave thread out and tie it like so like i'm doing here like i'm struggling right and then cut off the excess and then you'll have your dart seam
press all of those out you can like top stitch these i'm not going to i probably should have but press all the seams out so you can have your fabric laying nice and flat and beautiful and all we need is a lining boom here it is i just used this black fabric that i had from i don't know where i got it from or you could use anything else that you might have upcycled as long as you have enough so we're gonna put the two sides facing we might need straps so at first when pinning you want to pin on the same seams so if you have the middle seam and the two side seams and pin at the darts as well and then you can start to pin at the corners and edges and all of that. And we are, no, we're not anywhere near done. But make sure you leave a space for some possible straps. I think we are going to add straps in this one. We are. I don't know why I said we think. Because we are. Uh, yeah. And leave a space at the end of one of the sides so we can turn it inside out and flip it over onto the right side. So now that we're sewing again, remember to use your seam allowance. Mine was a half an inch and we're just going to do that all the way around this top until we get to that one side that we are leaving an opening. We're also leaving an opening at the top of the bust for those straps that we might put in there. So that's what those, that's why I'm skipping. And so we take all of the pins out and on the curves, we need to cut little slits and at the edge and corners, we're going to cut away the excess. So when we turn it out, it lays nice and flat and it's perfect and it doesn't pucker up. And so cutting off all the strings so it can be nice on the inside, not that anybody's going to see it. We're going to turn it inside out and watch this magic. Oh my God, I look so good. Oh my God, oh my God. Maybe it's just me. But I just love when like I get to a certain point when I know it's going to look good. Push out all those corners. <laughs> and at the top, <laughs> you're obviously going to have a hole um, for the straps. But that's okay. We're going to top stitch them down later. So now that I've realized that we're going to need straps, before I go anywhere, I'm going to pin up that um side seam closed i was struggling with this a lot like a lot like you'll see me try to do this multiple times and it just didn't work out and so eventually i just had to cut my losses and press it down because yeah And once we do that, we're just going to iron down the rest of it so we can save some time later when we are top stitching. So after we have pinned this down, we're going to iron down all this, like the seams that we just had. Um, so it makes top stitching easier later. Ooh, look at my skin. My skin look good in this light. Wow. And so here, I thought I was being cute and thinking I could use the button placket to make some straps. But the other side of the button placket had holes in it, obviously, because of the buttons. And I was just trying to get every little scrap I could from the rest of this shirt when I just realized, uh-uh, I just can't do it. And I need to move on and to figure something else out because this is just not going to work. At this point, Jossie doesn't know what she's doing, but Jay Renee is going to come through real soon. So we just moved on to whatever we had next. What's next? Uh, the sleeves. So the sleeves were really easy, like the easiest thing in the world. So we're going to cut off that curved part and wherever it stopped, that's what we are going to use. We're going to need some elastic for this. Yes, hello elastic. We're going to take a few measurements. Um, the first measurement we're going to take is of the wrist and just wrap it around your wrist to see how much you need cut one of those measure another one and cut another one and the next one we're going to use our our muscular bicep there whatever measurement that was we're going to use that and to make another one so my wrist measurement was seven inches and my bicep measurement was a husky 
nine inches around wow i'm really strong like you can see my muscles like through the camera i know you can and so those two measurements were the, of the elastic now we're gonna seam rip just a little bit of the hem of this sleeve just to get a little opening and so we can shimmy through our elastics just like that so you take a little safety pin at the end of the elastic and shimmy it around put a pin in it so it doesn't go anywhere if it gets too small or whatever and y'all have seen this before just shimmy it all the way through to the um the same side it came out of and pin it together until we're ready to sew it down and then it should just fit like that it's a little bit but you know it'll work so now we're gonna do the same thing to the other one bam wow look at my editing skills <laughs> And then we're gonna sew that later. So for the bicep part, we're gonna do the same thing as the wrist, but we have to make our hem. So just fold it down twice, depending on what size your elastic is, just gonna fold that down um, a little bigger than what the elastic was. My elastic is a quarter inch wide, so my folds didn't need to be that big. And I'm just gonna pin around the whole part of that on both of them, of course, and leave a little hole or opening to put the elastic through. So do that to the other one, and now we're gonna sew them down together. So we're going back to the wrist, and this is the part I hate the most about sewing elastic. Usually people just put them together and then like sew it that way, but I think when you put them opposite sides of each other, it's it creates less bulk but obviously i am having the worst time trying to do that i was struggling and i always do especially with skinny elastic it's just terrible see that didn't even work right what i would have to do to do it my way is hand sew it and we don't have time for that after the elastics through we're just gonna close up that seam that we made and it fits like a glove so then again with the top of the sleeve we're gonna sew down the casing first, then add in elastic like we did the wrist part. And remember to leave your gap for the elastic to go through. And just like before, we're gonna shimmy through that elastic and do that to both sides and sew it down. So that's what their sleeve should look like. Oh wow, classy. <laughs> Look at my hand. Um, but yeah, so moving on to the skirt, that was easy. That's not the skirt. Uh yeah, we still didn't have any fabric that we could use. So the skirt's pretty easy too. Just need a skirt that's your size. I recommend depending on whatever fabric you're using, don't get one that's like really tight because your measurements probably off like mine were. This skirt was like a really tight skirt, but it had a lot of stretch and it gave a lot. So, but the fabric I'm using from this shirt does not have much stretch at all and it doesn't give. So it was very tight when I tried it the first time and I had to end up adding more pieces. And that's me realizing that uh, it's going to be too small, but I pinned it together anyway and sewed it down. I knew it was going to be too small once I cut it and I said, wow, Jocelyn, what are you doing with your life? Anywho, just pin it down like regular. Hopefully you don't make the same mistake. And that's me sewing it down with that snap, exactly. And so as you can see, I had to add a few panels. Just, But it'll be the same thing. Like, you should do it right. Listen to me talk, not to what I do. Is the opposite of what I said earlier. But that's okay. So pin it down all the way around the top edge of the skirt. And then we're just going to sew that down to hem it at the top. And that's it. That is it, y'all. That was so easy. It's the top that really, like, did it for me. Yeah, it's the top for me. Yeah. It's the easiness of the rest of them for me. Yeah. Okay. We're done with that. And that was easy. Just sew that down. Okay, so we're cutting off the rest of them and we're moving back to the top yay now we have more extra fabric from the skirt that we can add straps now if you did this and it fits you perfectly you probably don't even have to add straps but my straps were about an inch wide i used four pieces from the rest of the skirt i had an inch wide and together they were like 30 inches long each so i put the i put two and two together like two 15 inch 
strips together and it made 30 inches each that was kind of long like i didn't really need that much but that's what i had and so we're gonna pin those together right sides facing and then sew them down like like regular and i just surged those it was just easy to surge them together because we're gonna make we're gonna fold them together and make straps and so here um fold them almost like in thirds and then fold them in half again so you can like rewind and like watch me do that so when we start i hate when um your fabric gets caught in the thing so um just pull that that first string if you have enough pull that first string out while you're sewing the first one and it should glide through real easy that's like what i do to get my straps through or anything that doesn't have enough so at the end here we're just gonna fold in that edge and fold it over in half again if you can understand what i'm doing yes just make sure that edge is like clean and perfect you can go and and um sew the other side but i wasn't doing that that was a lot and my strap looked fine the way it is so just do that to the other one and you'll have two straps and now we have to pin the straps the ugly side um inside of the top right at the um edge of the top of the cups or whatever you want to call it just pin it inside there and the hole wasn't that big but i did pin um nearing seams i don't know why but just to make sure my top stitches were even so we're gonna top stitch this whole whole thing and then we're like almost done y'all like almost like almost done so just top stitch the whole thing all the way around starting with the open seam that we had and that is what it looks like it's so, oh my god la, 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 la. <laughs> yeah okay um now we have to do the gr the eyelets or grommets whatever eyelets and this string i don't know where i got it from another pair of pants from that the lace up jean video i'll link that up above and so i want these um eyelets to be an inch apart so i made one mark at the corner and did six marks down an inch apart and did the same thing on the other side with the first side guiding me to making sure that they're all the same um, length apart so six each and that is going to be 12 little eyelets so let's count out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven two perfect and now we need the little hole punch thing and a hammer and the grommet thing whatever yeah and so this hole puncher i got on amazon um like it's supposed to be for belts and stuff but it works for making holes for my eyelets and grommets and i love it so much maybe i'll have a link down below sure and then just punch those holes into it like it's nobody's business and it'll make a hole for you i use like the second the smallest hole um to use it because the eyelets i had were really small and so just keep punching holes like a regular hole puncher you would with paper but it's with fabric and stuff and so that's what they should look like do that on the other side and bam you got holes so <laughs> what and then so how to use them this is the little uh image that it had i kept that from the package of course of course um so you put the good side in on the good side and stick that through the hole make sure um the hole is open and clear and then the little tiny part goes into the you know what maybe you should just read your directions read your directions and you'll get it so get your hammer and bang 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 i didn't really do it on the table because that was loud and i didn't want my mama yelling at me so i did it on the floor and i showed y'all now that's how it looks it's a little rusty on the back side but it's okay and that's how they all look and wow 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 we got some eyelets up in here they actually look pretty good and so the back side of course looks weird but that's okay um so now we just had to try it on we got the skirt we got the sleeves in the top let's try this baby on oh she's bold she's fierce she is amazing who is she jocelyn rocking her custom j renee 
designs all of that oh my gosh look at her so let's do this thing on what i wish i should have did i probably wish i didn't make the skirt so uh tight the first time as you can see there those stripes in the front of the skirt are not stripes anymore they're not straight they're curved imagine being so curvaceous that you make straight lines curved i wish i added a better blanket thing where the grommets were also it was like an either or thing for the sleeves and the skirt like if you wear the sleeves don't wear the skirt if you want the skirt don't wear the sleeves type of thing overall i still look good so that's it thanks for watching stay tuned because my birthday videos are coming soon and you already know those are going to be bombs so subscribe and follow and i'll see y'all in the next video bye